Francis Carl Roy was on parole after raping two girls when he lured Alison Perrot to Toronto's Varsity Stadium. Nearly 10 years after the murder, police arrested him. To this day, he has expressed no remorse for his crimes. It's interesting, people would say to me when I, you know, would talk about not wanting capital punishment or forgiving the killer before there was a face to this person. People would say, ah, Leslie, it will be different. It was absolutely no different at all. I still didn't want to emotionally engage. I, you know, I've not wanted to understand why, whatever. And I do believe this is a very sick man and a sick person who should not be allowed loosen society. But I believe that he should be given as much forgiveness from himself as he can so he can move forward and live life, albeit within a, a restricted uh, area. His family, some of his family came up to me as we were waiting for the verdict and expressed their condolences to me about the loss of Alison. They weren't admitting his guilt. They were, and, and I thanked him and I said, that took enormous courage to do that. You know, I think we have to, keep finding the humanity in one another. And I saw people said, well, how could you do that? Well, it wasn't their responsibility. They need to heal as well. And if I, if, you know, I think it did take courage to do it. And I was not taken aback. I was quite touched by that. There's a whole piece around forgiveness that I quite honestly believe is about helping yourself more than helping about other people. You know, unless we're able to, to let go, if, if, if we have to hold that sense of hate and having been crossed close to our heart and let it define us, it defines the rest of our lives. It defines everything we do. Unless we're able to let go, we can't hope to move forward, albeit with an aching hole in our hearts. <laughs>